Hi, I'm Todd Whitting with the Field Turf Academy. The drill I'm going to demonstrate for you today is our fielding diving drill. <clears throat> the dive is a play that we don't typically work on a whole lot, but is one that can come out throughout our season. In order to prevent injury injuries, what I'm going to do is I'm going to have Frankie demonstrate this on his knees. The hard and difficult part about a diving play is not actually the catch, it's the ability to get up onto our feet and to execute a good throw. I'm going to be on a knee right out here, and Frankie's going to be turned away from me to his, to his throw inside. He's going to execute a dive. His chest has to go all the way to the ground. Then he's going to get up onto his feet, and he's going to throw the ball to first base. The second time through, he'll turn the opposite direction. Go ahead and turn, Frank. He'll turn the opposite direction. I'm going to throw the ball out to his glove side. He's going to dive. Chest is going to go all the way to the ground, get up onto his feet, and execute a throw to first base. All right, Frank is going to turn to his throw inside. He's already got his body angle created. In order to prevent injury, we're going to go ahead and put him on his knees. I'm going to flip the ball out to his throw inside. He's going to dive. Chest is going to hit the ground. He's going to get up on his feet, move his feet, execute a great throw. All right, here we go. Ready? Reaches out and dives. Chest goes to the ground and throws to first base. They are going to miss it at times. If they do miss it, it becomes what we call a no panic ball. He's still going to stay within the drill, pick up the ball with his bare hand, and make a great throw to first base. Here we go. Dive to the throw inside. Get up on your feet and throw. Good. One more that direction. Good. Extends out his body. Chest has to go to the ground. Come up with his feet, stay into his legs, and execute a great throw to first. Okay, now he's going to turn to his glove side, turn away from me. He's going to reach out and extend. Chest hits the ground. Feet start moving. Get up off the ground. Make a good throw. Good. I want you to, I want you to miss this one again. Okay, just knocks it down. Knocks it down. Doesn't panic. Gets up. Makes a great throw to first base. Okay? And we'll finish up here with a clean one. Knees on the ground. Extends out. Catches the ball. Chest to the ground. Makes a great throw right to the first baseman's chest. Okay, a couple of key points on the diving drill. The main thing here is we want to be able to practice the dive without getting hurt. The key to the dive is to be able to not only execute the catch, but to get back on your feet and to make a good throw. So you want to put your fielder here with, on his knees. He's simply going to dive, catch the ball. The key here that I always make my guys do is I want their chest to go all the way to the ground. I want to get a full rep out of this. Their chest goes all the way to the ground. They move their feet and they throw it to first base. If they do happen to miss it, it goes off the tip of their glove or it bounces in front of them, it becomes then a no panic drill because that play is going to happen in the game. It's a game-like rep and it's something we need to work on. So we'll have them, even if they miss it, go ahead and finish off the play.